All right, mother lickers. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode with the Mini Range Rover. She just hit 90,000 miles, so it's time to service her up. First, you're going to want to start off with some premium liquor, some premium parts. Come take a look, Travis. What do we got? With another MicroGuard special, cabin air, drive belt, oil change, regular filter, just change the spark plugs at 70,000 miles. Let's let her rip. What you drinking there? Oh. The oh. finest. Black cherry. Sponsor us, White Claw. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fuel treatment. It's right. Like I said, treats 10 gallons, but I got about two in here. Let's let her rip. Take your new filter, give her a little slapper doodle doo. Have a look at the underbelly. It's not bad. Oh, this is nasty. Gee, money. Yeah. You been breathing that in, dude? We'll leave that off camera. Make sure the arrows are down. Down. For this vehicle. Alright guys, it's been a long time, long overdue. Um, we've had a lot of people ask about the dry belt on this thing, so that's what we're going to be doing for you guys today, along with other maintenance. So basically the belt is just route, you know, over the alternator, it's going to be under that pulley, around the crank and the AC compressor, and then around that other pulley. Um, so yeah, and then there's no like dry belt tension or anything on here. So what you got to do is you just got to loosen these two 12s on the alternator bracket, and then you're going to push the alternator forward, and that's going to give you slack on the belt to take it off and on. So here it is again, boys and girls. Take a screenshot if you need it right now. We're doing this so you don't have to. Alright. So you can already see how much, I've, it's already pretty loose. That's the bolt we loosened up right there. And then loosened up that one. Alright guys, so just to help you guys out, make it a little bit easier with moving the alternator, there's a 14 that's kind of like right below the pulley. Um, just loosen that a couple times and see if that helps shifting that alternator back and forth. So after you loosen that, look at you can literally, oh, it moves. See, I'm shifting here and push it back until it stops, and then that's going to give you the clearance, and you can take this belt off. And work your way out, and just like that, belts out. So. I'm gonna start by putting the belt over the crank and the AC compressor first so I can pull up and keep the tension, and then I'll work my way around the pulley and the alternator. Sounds like a plan, dude. Hey, it's kinda tight, it's kinda tight. My battery was getting a little gross, so we put a little battery cleanup on there, heat up some of this corrosion. Wire brush it. I'm gonna just scrub it off and then put another coat on there. All right guys, so the belt's on. So basically the way I did it, kind of telling you, I got the, the belt around the two lower ones first, and then I wrapped it, through the, brought it through the back side over this pulley, around the alternator, and this was the last pulley that I slid it under, um, that the belt just rides on, because it's on the smooth side of those pulleys. So, I know it's kind of hard to see, not very much room or lighting. Um, that's that. That back pulley, the crank's down there. Come on this side, you got the alternator. Where you see the lettering, that's the compressor, and then this is a, another dry pulley. Or the water, this is actually the water pump, so. Cool beans, hope you got that. <laughs> all right guys, so to get this back on, and to adjust that belt back, um, like you see right now, it's all the way pushed back, so you can't, this won't even fit in that bracket. So, if you got a long screwdriver or a pry bar, definitely take this connector off. Um, just so you don't break it with your prying and it gives you a little spot right here and you can pry and you can see I'm, it's putting more tension on it. 
keep going and then slides in. And then you're just gonna tighten these down. So then after you adjust it, you tighten this 12, then tighten the 14 at the bottom last. And you'll be solid, good to go. All right guys, so just to give you kind of like a perspective, um, this adjustment seems pretty perfect. So one finger, you can see I'm pushing down. It gives me just a little bit of leeway. Nothing crazy, not too tight. And that should be, you know, pretty dang good. That's pretty close. I'm ready to rock. I wanna ride! All right guys, we're just wrapping it up with a 90,000 mile service, 100,000 mile service. Well, you could definitely do it yourself. It's not expensive. I spent $100 total on everything today. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Love you. No, not out here. You sitting on it? Then but you're sitting on it. Yep. Dang, I called it. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We love the comments. Any questions you guys have, anything you guys want us to do in the future, let us know. Make sure you like the video. Um, like I said, it's been a while since we've been filming, and but we're going to be getting back into it. So you're going to be seeing a lot more content coming very soon. Um, thank you guys. Stay tuned.